Hi guys, Gary here from AZ Scanners. Today, we're going to do a comparisons video looking at three of our full systems multi-vehicle scan tools from the Autel and the Launch range. So here, we've got three scan tools we're going to discuss today. We've got the Autel MX808S, we've got the Launch X431V Pros Elite, and we've got the Autel MP808S. So today we're going to compare a few different things. So we're going to look at your basics, so your diagnosis and live data, service and maintenance functions, programming capabilities, um, who the ideal user really is for each of these scan tools, as well as looking a little bit at the hardware of each of these scan tools. So first up, let's discuss diagnosis and live data. So these three scan tools, they are all multi-system scan tools, which basically means you can access all modules of the vehicle. So you're not just restricted to basic engine diagnosis, you will also get access to the likes of transmission, airbags, ABS, and things like that. Um, so within these modules, with these scan tools, uh, you are basically able to read clear trouble codes, and you also get access to live data as well, which is a very useful feature to have. Keep an eye on all of those kind of vital gauges, temperatures, uh, likes of your coolant temps, MAP, um, EGTs, transmission temperatures, things like that. Next up, um, service and maintenance functions. So as these scan tools are getting towards the mid to high range level of scan tool, you do get access to those maintenance and service functions. Um, these three scan tools that do have uh, very similar access. So you will get access to things like DPF regeneration, injector coding, oil service reset, key programming, things like this. One thing to note with the service and maintenance functions, they are vehicle specific. Um, so they will be covered on some vehicles, but not others. It will just depend on which vehicle you're plugged into. So if there is something in specific that you're looking for, we would always recommend that you reach out directly to the seller before purchasing to check that function is covered on your vehicle. Next up, vehicle coverage. So probably the most important um, and definitely one that you should check before you purchase any scan tool. Um, so these three scan tools, uh, they all have a very, very similar vehicle coverage. Uh, so you will be covered all the way back to your older OBD1 vehicles from the late 90s, right through to your newest model releases. So the Autel and the launch tools, uh, they are a very, very good option for those newer model releases. Um, a lot of scan tool uh, manufacturers out there, they are a little bit behind on the newer vehicles, whereas Autel and Launch, fantastic coverage, so a great option there. Next up, now getting a little bit more advanced, uh, we will discuss programming capabilities between these three scan tools. So from the three, the Autel MX808S uh, doesn't have programming capabilities. Uh, so if you did need access to that, you would need to go for either the X431 V Pros Elite or the MP808S. Um, so with these scan tools, you will get access to things like relearns, module linking, things like that. Um, moving up, if you are needing access to things like ECU programming coding, you would need to go for the MP808S. Um, so I guess these types of functions are probably for your, your kind of more advanced users, workshops, DIY mechanics, um, things like that. Next up, uh, Bluetooth connectivity. Uh, so from these three scan tools, uh, the MX808S doesn't have the Bluetooth enabled, so you would need the hard code that goes into the OBD port, whereas the X431 and the MP version, uh, they are Bluetooth enabled, so it is a nice option to be able to do that kind of wireless uh, diagnosis. Next up, Auto VIN technology. So this is something that is being introduced uh, pretty much as standard now with the, the newest scan tool releases. Uh, basically means that you can just scan the vehicle. It should pick up the VIN. Um, it would load all of the vehicle's information and then you would be able to start um, your diagnostics. Uh, one thing to note with the Auto VIN feature, even if it is enabled on the scan tools, the actual vehicle you're plugged into might not have those capabilities. So generally we see that with your, your older models really, but any of your newer models should have the, the auto VIN technology on the vehicle as well. So touching on uh, a little bit of the hardware, so we'll take a look at screen size. Uh, so both of the Autel tools, uh, they have a seven inch LCD touchscreen design, uh, whereas the X431 has a slightly larger 10 inch touchscreen design. 
So tying all of that together, um, who would be the ideal user for each of these scan tools? So starting uh, on this side, the MX808S obviously doesn't have those um, kind of more advanced programming capabilities, but still will be right at home for those kind of DIY home use mechanics, uh, as well as fleet managers uh, and your more basic workshop use. Moving up in the range, um, the X431 again would be suitable for those users we've just discussed, but maybe more suited to those who need a little bit more advanced capabilities, so your relearns and things like that. Uh, the MP808S is obviously a higher end out of the three scan tools, so we'll be right at home in any kind of higher end workshops, mobile mechanics. So in summary, it does just depend on your personal needs, whether you're a DIY mechanic, you just use it for home use, fleet manager, or a kind of more professional workshop environment. But you know, there is a scan tool that would suit any one of those needs. And we hope that this video has helped kind of clear that up a little bit, which one would be more suitable for your needs. Um, we didn't go too far into it with the video, but we do have a written blog post, which is a little bit more detailed comparison between the three scan tools. You can see all of the specifications on there, like I say, as well as a little bit more information. So I will pop the link to that in the description of the video. Um, we hope you liked the video. If you did, please do subscribe to the channel. Give us a like uh, if you want to keep on seeing more content like this. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you with the next one.